What's going on YouTube? Trading life here. One more time, guys. Look. It's too close to get between now, guys. So now I gotta go up under here. Up under here, guys, to try to get this up. But it's so close. I try to get this up right here without. I can't, I got air running to the back right here, but I can't get it to move because this is too far on the ground. The truck hooked up to it, guys, but I can't go nowhere because there's a couple things I'm gonna do right here because this thing's so close. So right now, I'm gonna look at this right here and I'm gonna try to see how close, I'm gonna look at a final line on here because nothing's wrong, nothing's more, feel more worse, guys, than turning your landing arm Especially in this position, look. I'm on my knees right now. I'm bumped, I'm bumped right free, pretty much under the trailers right here. There's nothing wrong with turning this thing in the wrong way. And you think you turn it the right way, guys. I ain't got time to play around with this. So what I'm gonna do is, this thing right here usually have more than one gear. Like, that's high gear. See this part right here? Watch this. See the little line? Low gear. So, if you notice, if I put it, if I leave it in low gear, hold the nut like this, pull it out, like hold the nut so that this won't pop out like this. You know what I'm saying? So, hold the nut, pull it out. Now, it's in low gear. But now, if you can see, if I turn it like this, look. Let's go hit this. So, one way we could do this, guys, is turn this right here, leave it out, pull this out like this. See how it curve like that? And you can take it and you can ease it between the trailers like this. Take it, turn it between the trailers like this, guys. And also, too, make sure you keep an eye on this so you make sure you're not turning it the wrong way. Put it between like this. So that way, that way, it'll fit between the two trailers. You can see, guys. And hopefully, let, hopefully, low gear working this thing, but if it don't, I ain't gonna do it. You can't do it in high gear, you need leverage for high gear. And it's a load, so I'm watching this right here. So I'm gonna watch this line right here, guys. See the little double lines right here? Double line, I'm gonna watch that and see if it even stop moving up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna watch these two lines right here. Right there. See if they move up. And watch your head too when you're down here, guys. You don't hit your head on these things because your head's so close. Watch these lines right here. Watch the double lines. Make sure that it's at least moving. If not, I'm about to come up with something else. These are my double lines right here. It looks like they're moving a little bit, but I'm gonna find out. Let's see if they disappear. Go away. Just go away. Come on. All right. You see? They up in there. They went away. Now I'm finna make sure that I'm not seeing what I want to see. So now I'm finna watch these two lines right here. Them two lines. Make sure they go away. They go away, I know I'm going the right way. Remember, it's supposed to go in like this, but you can't do it because there ain't no room. So you pull it out like this on an angle, and you turn it up like this between. See how it's curved? And you turn. Watch the double lines. Make sure I'm turning the right way. And it's a low too, so you gotta, you gotta use low gear, you can't use high. If this is a empty, what I would do is, I'll go up under here and turn that pole. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the empty. I will go up on the hand, turn this pole. I'll probably take this off right here. I'll take the nut off. Then I'll go up under here and turn that pole right there with my hand. Then I'll put that back on just to get it out here, just to get it out from this situation, guys. See, look. See? See how it's stuck on the trailer? That's what I would do. So this pole right here is connected both sides. But I don't feel like, because it's a load, so I ain't even trying to mess with that. I only do that when it's an empty. 
or if you get to a box, it's your last move of the day, you gotta move that box. And this is gone. Don't worry about this. You can put some, you can put some uh, vice grips on here and turn it, or you can go up under that with your hands with some vice grips up under that, clamp it and turn it. But since this right here is working, so let me try to see if these lines, these two lines right here go up, guys. And then I'm gonna see if I get it. <clears throat> So remember, I can't pull it out because it's too close to this one. Man, I gotta get that what's his name, guys, my airline. Merch now gotta be tightened up. But anyway, I heard my air dry go off, so it means I ain't, I ain't lost that much air pressure. Anyway, watch this. Watch the double lines. It should be moving up. It should be moving up right there, you see him? Should be going up. I can't see, guys. Hope you guys see it on the camera. Should be going up. Come on now. There you go. Come on. Turn, baby, turn. Yeah, you see they gone, see? They, they almost at the top right there, you see them? So yeah, it's working, guys. So let me finish letting it up now. They finished letting it up, but then I got to uh, turn on my airline, my emergency line again. I can hear it. I can hear it. It came off there right now. Let me go on this All right, it's feeling kind of loose now, so let me try to put it in high gear. I might be able to do it now, let me see. See, put it in high gear, see? That's low gear with a little line at. High gear, they pull this out a little bit. Push it in high gear, leave it on an angle like this. And then, like that. Should be able to do it, there we go. And this high gear, look. See? Now what I can do is I can either, now it's up high enough, I can pull out some more and then go and do it right. And I'm already down here, I'm gonna take care of where I'm down here, so. Give it, when I get in that truck, I'm gonna pull off, man. I ain't got time for this. It's a little tight, it's a little tough, man. It's a little tough. There we go, hold on, guys. Instead of going all the way up, now I can do it like this. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright guys, man, it's up, man. Short video guys, but I thought this might be helpful to somebody. Help somebody out, man. But anyway, that's how you do it guys. You can't get your landing gear on because of, of two trailers being so close together. Do like do this little put this in low gear. If it work, hopefully it work. Leave this kind of out. Don't put it in like that because you ain't got enough room. You hit this trailer, put it on an angle, and turn it, work it till you get off the ground to release, to release the pressure off of there. Which means the pressure, put it in high gear or low gear or high gear, whichever one of the fat, the, the heaviest gear, the more the less cranks you got to lift it up. Put it in that gear to get that lifted up quicker, guys. But anyway. I gotta go back here and check this stuff, guys. Once I pull away from these, these boxes up here. So, I, right, YouTube, hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on, chill. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.